In this TA Tech tip, I'll be discussing importing TAM ITZ data into NanoAnalyze for data analysis. The first step when importing TAM ITZ data into NanoAnalyze is to open the data file using TAM Assistant and inspect the fa file within that program. Items to inspect are the injection volume and the duration between each injection. It's also important to know the temperature at which the experiment was being conducted. After these items have been inspected, now the file can be exported from TAM Assistant by clicking on File and then Export. From here, a wizard pops up. Using the default values is fine. I'm just clicking Next. We've already inspected the temperature, so that information is not needed. So really, we just need the signal. After the TAM data has been exported, it can be opened within Excel and inspected. It's important to note the units that were exported within the data. It was time in seconds, and then heat flow in watts. The supported heat flow value is a microjoule per second in NanoAnalyze, or microwatt. So these heat flow values will need to be converted to the correct units. Now the data can be saved. A comma delimited is an acceptable file format for NanoAnalyze, as well as many other text files, such as a text tab delimited. After the data file has been saved as a text, NanoAnalyze can be opened. From this point, the data can be imported by clicking on File, Import Text File, and we can find the text file that we want to import and click open. From here a wizard comes up. The delimited or the delimiter was a tab and we want to start the data import at row 2. It's ITC raw data and this is our TAM or our time from the TAM and this is the raw heat rate from the TAM and from here choose import. Now we can click on the imported data and finish the import process. First click on Analysis. The first step within NanoAnalyze, now that the data file has been opened, is to create a new baseline. These are where the numbers of the 5 minutes or 300 seconds come important, because these numbers will have to be manually added into NanoAnalyze. So we have 5 minutes before the first injection, each injection occurred every five minutes, and we're going to only integrate 280 out of the five minutes. We knew that there were 25 injections, or we can leave this blank. But for us, we'll put in 25 injections. Now click OK, and a baseline has been created. The next step is to click on the Area tab, and type in the concentrations that were used for this particular experiment, as well as the cell volume. This isn't the actual volume of the cylinder that was used, but the volume of the material that was loaded into the cell. The default injection volume, that came from the TAM when we were inspecting the data file. And the temperature, the same. One final important designation to make is that this is a partially filled cell. By clicking on this, the stoichiometry will more accurately reflect what was actually occurring in the reaction vessel. Now the data has been imported and can finally be modeled and presented.